So today I'm going to be reviewing a fragrance that ever since it came out, it's gotten so much love. It's been accepted. It's been appreciated. Creed Viking. So as a lot of you guys know, Viking didn't get the best talk when it first came out. A lot of people hated on it and I can see why. Mainly the price. The price was insane. Uh, the smell didn't really impress people either, which we'll get into that later. But now that the prices have gone down and it's attainable for you know around the regular creed pricing for the most part i figured now would be a good time to go ahead and review this so let's go ahead and tackle the overall scent of this real quick because this this changes a lot throughout the scent so i want to try to give you as much info as i can on how it smells throughout the different stages so right when i first spray it i get this pink pepper and this mint and it's a very interesting combo because you get this fiery hot type of smell mixing with this cool soothing type of smell they mix together and create an interesting combo i also get a little bit of an earthy smell underneath that probably from the vetiver and the patchouli that i pick up on right in the opening following into the mid i pick up on some sandalwood that starts to come in still the main player is that pink pepper it's still spicy uh, the mint is still there too but going into the mid it is toned back and what i start to pick up on is that sandalwood a little bit of lavender along with that pink pepper rose is listed as a note i don't really get too much of it to my nose uh, but could be different for other people i'm just not too experienced when it comes to you know picking out rose and fragrances in the dry down the dry down is personally my favorite part that's where i get a lot of lavender lavender really starts to come in even more so than in the mid uh, that lavender sandalwood pink pepper the mint is still there a little bit as well and that is personally my favorite part uh, when it's fully dried down um, it's very masculine but it's also a little bit more soft um, it's a little bit easier on the nose. The opening can be a little bit harsh. It may put some people off because again, that initial blast um, can kind of throw you for a loop. It's very different, uh, but the dry down, it's so much smoother, it's softer. A lot of people will compare this to like Old Spice and I see exactly where they're coming from. And I actually drew that comparison when I first smelled it as well. Definitely an Old Spice, classic masculine type of smell that you get from Viking. Now that's probably gonna put a lot of people off. They're gonna be like, well, why do I wanna spend, you know, this much money on a scent that smells like Old Spice? Um, it's not solely like Old Spice, there are differences. What I always say is this has that Old Spice classic type of smell, but with a modern twist on it. Um, it has that Creed twist on it that I really enjoy. So it's not like you're just buying Old Spice in a Creed bottle, right? It, it's compared to that in the similar scent category that it's in. But in terms of overall smell, um, again, this has a different twist on it and it's something that I really enjoy. So this type of fragrance definitely leans towards the mature side of things. This isn't a fun, playful, you know, young smelling fragrance by any means. Definitely more mature, more grown up, more sophisticated, uh, more refined than a lot of you know, other fragrances that are out there. And that's something that, again, I really like. So the main accords are aromatic, green, fresh, spicy, and woody. So that kind of gives you a general idea of how this smells. So again, it takes a lot of those notes that you find in a lot of more classic smelling fragrances and puts them into this. If I had to compare this to another Creed, I would probably compare it to Bois de Portugal. Not that they smell alike because they smell nothing alike. What I'm talking about here is general um, category of scent, right? Bois de Portugal is a classic masculine type of scent and this one is as well. Again, they share a couple similar notes, lavender, sandalwood, but again, in terms of smell, nothing alike. But to me, this does fit in a similar scent category as Bois de Portugal. So let's go and talk about when you can wear Viking. Uh, this is one of those super versatile scents from Creed. Creed is known for making extremely versatile scents and this one is also one of them. I would say it's just as versatile as their uh, black bottle version of this. Uh, if you guys have noticed, they essentially, um, you know, copied the Aventus style flask with this thing that wraps around in the picture on the front. So basically what I'm trying to say here is this is pretty much as versatile as Aventus to me. You can wear it for pretty much any occasion, um, spring, summer, fall, winter, they all work in my opinion. It's probably leaning more towards fall and winter, the cooler months because of that spiciness. It's a little bit sweet. 
but because of that you know minty pop in the opening and that fresher overall nature that it has and that green smell that it has i would say you could wear it pretty much any year around or any time of the year uh, even spring and summer would i go wearing this in the blazing heat on a summer's day no i probably wouldn't but if you're just going to your job and you're going to be you know in the air conditioning all day there's no reason why you couldn't wear this uh, during the summer so let's go and talk about performance uh, performance on me is actually very good and i'll just go ahead and say the batch if i can actually read it my batch is 17 w01 um i'm not I, I don't know any sort of batch variation about viking i'm hoping there isn't one because we don't need another batch variation frenzy on viking i'm just throwing that out there in case any of you are curious 17 w01 uh in performance i get actually really really good performance with this one longevity i'm getting about nine hours or so uh in projection it projects actually really good off of my skin especially within the first few hours um, it pushes out it makes itself known uh, even when I first got it you know I did one spray on my hand and I was catching whiffs of that for a very long time again the longevity nine hours or so uh, so overall definitely really really good in the performance and that's something I'm very happy about being that this is a very versatile fragrance it's nice that it performs that good too so that way if I do want to wear it in the fall and the winter when it's colder it'll hold up in my opinion this would be a perfect signature scent for you know anyone who wants to smell like a gentleman this is probably going to be targeted towards more mature guys um, if you are like a CEO at like you know some sort of office job or something like that I could see this being a perfect perfect signature scent for you uh, because again it just smells like a gentleman it smells very classic it smells to me like what a rich older gentleman would smell like that may sound weird uh, but that's just kind of the vibe I get from it like you know an older guy who is you know very wealthy who has a good job like a ceo or something works in an office this is what i would picture that he would wear so again definitely a great signature scent for those of you who can afford it and you know for those of you who this appeals to because the performance is great it can be worn all year round for pretty much any occasion so i don't see why it wouldn't be a great signature scent so let's go and touch on compliments real quick this can be a little bit divisive uh, not everyone is going to like this type of scent dna and again it kind of depends on the age range um, younger women um, like in their 20s and you know whatever the case may be they may not like this as much as you know some maybe older women some more mature women because again the smell right it is more mature it's more classic smelling this isn't like a dior sauvage smelling scent that a bunch of young people are going to like definitely going to attract people who like more mature scents like more woody classic scents so overall compliments it can be kind of iffy um, so my advice would be not to buy this if you're looking solely for a compliment getter there are other fragrances from creed and other fragrances from other houses in general that's going to get you tons of compliments um, this i would say probably won't be one of them again some people may be wearing this and they may be getting awesome compliments and that's great that's fine uh, but again, for me as a reviewer trying to tell you like it is, I wouldn't buy this solely for compliments. So that's just something to keep in mind. With that being said, definitely sample this first. Don't go out and blind buy this just because, again, the price. It, it has come down quite a bit. It's still expensive, so I wouldn't recommend you blind buying it. It's not going to be for everyone. Um, so that's just something I wanted to throw out there. Definitely grab a sample first. But with that being said, I do recommend that you do sample it um, one way or another, whether you have, you know, Neiman's around your house or something or you order a sample online whatever the case may be i do recommend you check it out if you haven't yet don't go off of you know all of the hate that has been thrown out there about how it sucks and how it's awful because that's one thing that put me off i'd never even got a sample of this when it first started rolling out i had no desire again because of the hate and everything uh, but when i found this bottle for a good price i just blind bought it because i couldn't pass it up and now it is one of my favorite creeds it's made it in my top 10 creed fragrances list which you can check out um, I just did that video a couple days ago it's made it in there pretty high so again if I you know hadn't taken a chance and I hadn't tried it you know who knows I probably would have never tried it so again highly recommend you check this stuff out definitely worth at least trying it so I will touch on price really quickly again I don't want to spend too much time and go into too much detail on this because prices can be everywhere if you're looking at discounters it's still going to be very expensive all right and that's just how it is with creeds in general Generally, Creed prices on discounters are still extremely high. 
I don't recommend you pay them unless you absolutely have to. That's just my opinion. If you feel safer ordering from a discounter, then by all means, go for it. I'm not going to tell you how to spend your money. I'm just saying that if you're looking at discounter prices and making a judgment on the price, of course, it's going to be high. Um, I personally picked up this bottle for around 150 for this 100 mil, and it was mostly full. Um, is missing maybe a couple mils, uh, but still, that was an excellent price. I've seen them go for around, you know, a little bit under $200 for the 100 mil on Facebook. Uh, sometimes even, you know, lower than that, 170, 180 uh, for the 100 mils. Uh, testers, not testers, whatever the case may be. So definitely, Facebook, uh, eBay, you can find them for good prices. Sometimes, um, just make sure. You are not getting a fake and one thing that's actually funny is i've seen some fakes of this that are in a 120 mil bottle and for those of you who don't know the 120 mil bottles are now discontinued um, and viking was never made in a 120 mil so if you see viking in a you know 120 mil bottle with the you know you know what i'm talking about you know what it looks like if you see that it's definitely fake uh, so don't fall for that so again pricing it's going to be all over the place but what i'm saying is if you actually take the time to look around a little bit and not just go to the first discounter website and pay 300 dollars, you can find this for really good prices so guys that's going to do it for this video that was my thoughts on creed viking hopefully you guys enjoyed this review again been wanting to review this one for a while because i've been wearing it a decent amount i just really like the scent so i wanted to share it with you guys so if you have tried Viking, let me know what you think of it down below. Don't forget to like the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you don't miss when I post. Again, I'm trying to hit 10K by the end of December, so around Christmas time. Hopefully, that would be pretty cool. So again, if you haven't subscribed and you watch my videos, just go and subscribe. That way, you actually get my videos in you know the feed. That way, you don't have to type in my name every day to you know see when I post. So definitely do that. That's going to do it, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.